All right. Cases of stigma over there, and of course, a person narrating his ordeal as far as stigma is concerned. And most of the time right here on My Doctor, we always talk about stigma and address some of the let's say illnesses or situations that might force the society or put the society at a position where they end up stigmatizing the person. But what really is stigma, okay? And to what magnitude, um, you know, can it get? How bad can it get in terms of the impact that it can have on a person, either mentally, physically, socially even? And of course, what can we do as a people to fight cases of stigma? So be sure to tune in till the end of the show because that is what we are going to discuss today, all about stigma. And you know the drill by now. If you have any other questions, feel free to send them on our SMS line, 40920, and we'll be tackling all your questions as far as stigma is concerned. So welcome to the show. My name is Vinny Dubembe, and of course, this is my doctor. Our guest is already here, and of course, we're excited to have you for the first time. Welcome to my doctor. Thank How you. How are you feeling? I'm doing well. You're well. I'm very good. Karibu sana I'm to my doctor. I'm happy to be here. And we're happy to have you. <laughs> yes. So before we get on with the discussion, could you yeah. say hi, tell okay. the people who you are and what you do? Okay. Hi, viewers. Mm -hmm. My name is Ruth um, Murago. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a cancer psychologist, mm -hmm. and I work uh, with Amani Counseling Center and Training Institute. All right. Yeah. Kari Busana. Thank we're happy you. we're happy to have you for the first time. I hope you feel okay. I'm feeling at home. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Doing what I love. That is good to hear. Yes. That is good to hear. Okay, yes. so let's start with stigma because like I said, right here on my doctor, I think mm. we address mm -hmm. on so many things, mm. um, so many um let's say illnesses, conditions, mm -hmm. or just circumstances in general that might yeah. push people to go through stigma mm. or even the society to stigmatize people yeah. but when it comes to the word stigma in itself i think most of the time we don't really understand the magnitude um, yeah. of stigma and the question that i have and i think we'll address this even as we go on with the show is mm -hmm. are there instances where we stigmatize people mm -hmm. and we don't know that we're stigmatizing them we're just mm -hmm. thinking that oh we're being cool or we're just being friendly or we're just telling them as it is yeah. but in real sense we are stigmatizing people yeah. but before we get on to that mm -hmm. stigma in itself mm -hmm. what does it mean? Wow. Um, stigma. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a word used a lot mm -hmm. by people, yeah. but yeah. they don't understand what it the is. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And uh, we stigmatize people even without knowing. Yeah. So what is stigma? Mm -hmm. Stigma is that mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that mark that we put on people that sets them apart from the other people. Like mm -hmm. It's a mark. It can be psychological, it can be physical. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we rebel people, we, we rebel people, we give them names, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. uh, that sick person, mm -hmm. you know, the crazy person. Uh, that mad John, <laughs> you know, yeah? yeah, crazy person, you know, mm -hmm. that's really stigmatizing. It's mm -hmm. putting that mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes knowingly, other times unknowingly. unknowingly. Yeah. I mean, when you talk about a mark, I, mm -hmm. someone might say, but listen, I know we're different um, mm -hmm. in terms of how we see things, mm -hmm. how we approach things. Yeah. Um, and it's very easy for us to see people differently and think mm -hmm. maybe they are not typical, mm -hmm. we are typical, mm -hmm. you see? Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, the big question is then where do we draw the line in terms of, mm -hmm. I am stigmatizing you mm -hmm. by just looking at you and maybe thinking some things in my head and yeah. maybe calling names like you said, yeah. um, or just distancing myself from you. Like where do mm -hmm. we draw the line in terms of this is purely stigma mm -hmm. and me just distancing myself because Mm -hmm. Maybe we do not relate in a certain in yeah. a certain way. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes uh, it's not easy to draw the line. Yeah. Eh? It's not easy to draw the line because it's really so close. Mm -hmm. Because um, mostly in our homes we stigmatize people. In our families, mm -hmm. in marriages we stigmatize our spouses. In mm -hmm. school we stigmatize uh, we stigmatize our students. Mm -hmm. On public or in public uh, uh, transport we stigmatize marketplaces. We stigmatize mm -hmm. and so stigma. Uh, um, when it is now real stigma is when uh, I'm doing it deliberately, mm -hmm. you know, to gain power over you, okay. you know, okay. or uh, I'm gaining an advantage over you. I'm getting something yeah. over you, yeah. you know. Power. So if I would call, yeah, yeah, most it is power, mm -hmm. you know. I want to be above you, mm -hmm. you know, I want to control you, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, not knowing how much it is hurting that yeah, person, person. Yeah, yeah, that you are stigmatizing. Suppose a person, okay, is it possible to, to stigmatize Someone, mm -hmm. I don't know if this makes sense, but someone mm -hmm. makes sense in my head. So mm -hmm. I'll, I'll try, I'll mm -hmm. try. Um, is it possible to stigmatize a person and the person not knowing that you're stigmatizing them? I don't know if that makes no, sense. The person that is being stigmatized, yeah, do you not know? That I am, for instance, um, mm -hmm. let's say me and you, right? So mm -hmm. there's a way that I see you mm -hmm. or there's a way that I perceive you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, 
you know, I start saying things in my head and all those things. You don't really know sure, that sure. I am, but yeah. I am stigma. Like, is there such thing? Uh -huh. And if so, mm -hmm. do we still call it stigma? Um, if the person doesn't know? It becomes stigma mm -hmm. when it starts affecting you. And yes, it is possible for somebody to stigmatize without knowing, no. without the person knowing, knowing that, that they are being stigmatized. stigmatized. Yes. Like, uh, when I'm talking with people, when I'm counseling people, mm. I hear them tell me, uh, this thing was repeated so many times. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it didn't make sense mm -hmm. then. In, yeah. Until when they, they faced another problem. Mm -hmm. You know, like, uh, let, let's see, uh, maybe a mother mm. calling the, uh, just because their yes. child is a, a breath is somehow, yeah, yeah. you look like a pig. You know, it's like, for a child, At first it looks yeah, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I look like a pig. Tomorrow the same, a yeah. month goes and uh, an year. Mm -hmm. And uh, by the time this child is becoming uh, uh, a teenager, mm. this thing them. creeps yeah. in them. Yeah. And especially if they start getting big, yeah. you know, you're mm -hmm. eating like a pig and they remember. Mm -hmm. This is the time they want to shed their weight oh, yeah. and the Body weight is not growing. Yeah. And they remember the words they were told by their parents, mm -hmm. you eat like a pig. Yeah and they start now getting stigmatized. Yeah. And this is, uh, stigma does not come around. It comes oh, yeah, with a with lot. Other things. Yeah. 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 So suppose uh, that mm -hmm. example of a parent, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Suppose they never say it to the child. Mm -hmm. They just think it, mm -hmm. which I think it's unfair to even think of mm -hmm. that for a child, but just, okay, about any other person. Yeah. But what if you never say it? Mm -hmm. You just think it. Mm -hmm. Do you still call that stigma? You know what you need? <laughs> Most of the time, when we think of things, mm. somehow, somewhere, we'll we it. will say it or act it. True. Yes. True. You okay. know, at some point, we will say it mm -hmm. and we'll act it. Uh, uh, the time you have not said it, it is only eating upon yeah. you. You know, mm -hmm. you are the one who is suffering, mm -hmm. not the other person. Yeah. But they can suffer from what you, how what you are you treating say. them, yeah. on what you or what you are saying to okay. them. Okay. Yeah. So. A person who stigmatizes, mm -hmm. I mean, the big question is then why? Why mm -hmm. do we stigmatize mm -hmm. um, other people? Because we're always told every single day, I mean, we live with this. We know we're all different in terms of how we see things, how we perceive things, mm -hmm. how we even understand things. Mm -hmm. But still we find ourselves stigmatize mm -hmm. other people. And mm -hmm. I, when I was doing my research, they said, mm -hmm. especially in the Asian community and African community, mm -hmm. we, there's, there's a lot of cases of stigmatization as compared to like the Western world. Mm -hmm. So the big question is why? Why do we stigmatize mm -hmm. each other? Um, Lack of knowledge. Okay. Lack of knowledge. Because even when we are stigmatizing, mostly, mm -hmm. we don't know we are stigmatizing. Mm -hmm. You know, many of these words came from West. Mm -hmm. So they started it. They knew it from the beginning. They were aware of it. Yeah. So these words are coming to us now. Mm -hmm. We are getting to get them now. Mm -hmm. So the lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, like, uh, what is stigma? Mm -hmm. You know, just the explanation that I gave. Yeah. You are putting a mark on somebody. Yeah. You are putting a wood. A negative mark. Yeah, a negative mark. Mm -hmm. You are putting a wood on somebody, mm -hmm. you know. And the way Africans, like, the way we like uh, carrying ourselves is hard, you know, mm -hmm. like hard, you know. Mm -hmm. I know if I tell you this, I mm -hmm. know she can swallow that, yeah. you know. A little oh, knowing that. We expect that, them to. Yes. I, I think most of the time we expect people to take yes. whatever we can see, and mm -hmm. especially, like, in a, in a what a parent yeah. set up where the parent expects you to take the fact they've called you a pig, sure. which is like a really not a good thing, but they expect you to take it because, hey, sure. you are African, you're supposed to take it. Mm -hmm. And that aspect of expectation then ends up hurting a lot of people, right? Yes, yeah. yes. You know, because somebody expects you to take it as, uh, as they have said it, eh? yeah. you swallow it, but little do they know how it has hurt you. Because mm -hmm. in fact, stigma uh, now shows itself mm -hmm. uh, when now it starts, it starts showing itself either in actions, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. or talking. Because the stigmatized person at some, at some point, yeah. because we are too much st stigmatized, uh, you start isolating yourself, mm -hmm. you start becoming hopeless, mm -hmm. you know, because you lack somebody whom you can lean your shoulder on, you know, being social beings. Yeah. You want to talk to somebody. Mm -hmm. And the people that are surrounding you are the people that are stigmatizing you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. what will I do? I will isolate myself, yeah. you know. I'll keep my issues. And especially if I know, if I tell my mom, mm -hmm. if I tell my husband mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. all what they do is telling me like uh, those hurting words. Mm -hmm. What will I do? Yeah. Because even words stigmatizes. Oh, absolutely. You know, you know yeah. uh, I'll put myself in a cocoon, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And the moment you put yourself in a cocoon, 
trouble has started, Eunice. Yeah. Trouble yeah. has started. And we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at how, I mean, the impact, the effects of all of that yeah. in, in, I mean, when we come back after mm -hmm. the break or even before. Mm -hmm. But aside from that lack of knowledge, which I think is like one of one of the biggest things, you yeah. know, ignorance, mm -hmm. the stigmatized people out of ignorance. Mm -hmm. um, but what about, I mean, where do you draw? I know there are so many other reasons why people stigmatize, mm -hmm. um, you know, other people. Mm -hmm. But in terms of being human mm -hmm. and just stigmatizing someone because you want to hurt them. Mm -hmm. I mean, for example, that person who, the video that we saw mm -hmm. of a person who's HIV positive yeah. and of course, once he yeah. got the diagnosis, mm -hmm. he was stigmatized by the people around yeah. them. Mm -hmm. Some people will tell you, but it's just human. I mean, even I, mm -hmm. if I realize that maybe you have, let's say an illness, a condition, mm -hmm. or your belief system is different mm -hmm. from mine, mm -hmm. um, it's easy for me to start judging you based on the same. And once I start judging you, like you said, there's a mark mm -hmm. that I put, sure. and I end up stigmatizing you. Mm -hmm. So someone might be like, so I, maybe I'm just being human. Like it's mm -hmm. a normal human response, yeah. um, you yeah. know? Yeah. But then again, when does it become too much that, again, it's, it's, it's stigma, yeah. not just you being human, you know? I, I've met people who say, to me, I just say it as it, as is. it is. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and that's me. Mm -hmm. And I always ask people, yes, it, it's okay, that is you. Yeah. You are happy you said it, mm -hmm. you vented it, it came out of you, yeah. you know? How did it affect the environment? Mm -hmm. yeah. How did it affect the people that are surrounding you, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And you know what? When you affect that other person, mm -hmm. If you'd affect these people that are working with us here, yeah. you know, we'll also get affected. Oh, true. You know, true. somebody may choose to walk away from that machine. Mm -hmm. Who will operate it? Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so um, the, the, again, the lack of awareness, mm -hmm. lack of awareness. Mm -hmm. Like, um, if I would want people to let me be, I should mm -hmm. also let other people be. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. because the world is not one-sided. Mm -hmm. You know, there is that side of me mm -hmm. and that there is that other side of other people and yeah. the environment, oh, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. And these two things has to work together. Yeah. So, Could we say that we're selfish most of the time? It's, it's like we believe that our way is mm -hmm. the only way or our belief system is the right thing mm -hmm. or even how we see things and perceive things and, you know, say things. Mm -hmm. Our way is the right way. And if someone comes and they're different from us mm -hmm. and, and different mm -hmm. from how we see things, beliefs, and mm -hmm. all those things, yeah. then they're not normal. There's something wrong with them. So that aspect yeah. of selfishness. Yeah, there is a lot of selfishness mm -hmm. in it, you know, because I want everybody else to do like I do. Oh, yeah. But I don't want to do mm. as they are doing. Mm -hmm. So you see there is also disrespect there. Oh, yes. You know, there mm -hmm. is a lot of disrespect. And, uh, yeah, um, because I want things to be done my way. Yeah. I want to take things my way. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Life is not one way, mm. you know, life is not one way. Life has challenges, it is two ways. Mm -hmm. I, I'm meeting with a lot of people mm -hmm. who have different personalities oh, yes. from mine, yeah. from different uh, temperaments mm. from mine. You mm -hmm. know, I shouldn't expect like an extrovert to behave yeah. the same as an introvert. As an <laughs> and you know, and that's yeah. now where the stigma comes, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, because I may put a mark, you know, by the way, people have put marks on other people mm -hmm. because you know, the they don't they look change. like me, yeah. you know, and uh, they don't want, you know, we, we are, when we are going through situations when we are living with people, mm -hmm. whether it is in our working places, mm -hmm. whether it is in the marketplace, whether it is at home, you know, mm -hmm. we should look for that place of balance, you know, mm -hmm. the leverage when, where everybody can come and meet mm -hmm. and, you know, and yeah. stop being me, that other person stop being themselves. Mm -hmm. We come and be become us. we, yeah. we become us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, uh, at that time, there will be no stigma yeah. or there will we'll be very little of it. I really hope that we'll get to that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We <laughs> okay. are heading there, you know. We're heading, we there, are heading right? there, Okay, yeah. so in terms of then culture, because mm -hmm. um, even like we said, even like with the onset of COVID-19, right? Uh -huh. Remember people used to say, oh, this is not our thing. Us, mm -hmm. we're Africans. Africans, sure, we cannot sure. get some of those things, uh -huh. you know? So we tend to stigmatize the West and, and we'll, tell, we'll say, yeah, mm -hmm. they're the weak ones and all those things. So in terms of then culture, mm -hmm. how does culture contribute towards stigma? Because it's easy, and especially even like in the country, mm -hmm. we have like different tribes, different mm -hmm. cultures and all those things. Mm -hmm. So it's easy for one culture mm -hmm. or people raised from a different culture to yeah. stigmatize people yeah. from a different culture. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the role that, you know, culture oh. plays in terms of driving stigma. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So stigma from different cultures mm -hmm. and also from within, mm -hmm. uh, being a people of culture. Oh, yeah. One thing we forget is, uh, Culture is not culture without people, mm. you know. 
I like that. Culture can't yeah. be culture without, without people, people, you yeah. know. And also having in mind people, we are talking about people are human beings. Mm. These people have feelings. Yeah. They have thoughts, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, and these are the things that get affected by what either we are seeing outside there or we are seeing inside here. Mm -hmm. So let's come back to culture. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of, of demands mm -hmm. from our cultures. True. Let's say, let's take FGM, you know, For instance, girls yeah. have to go through FGM, you know, and uh, because of the knowledge, how knowledge is coming up, you know, how people are getting knowledge uh, because of social media, mm -hmm. technology has brought a lot of knowledge mm -hmm. and some girls somewhere knows I'm not supposed to go through this. Yeah. I'm not supposed to go through this, mm -hmm. but there is nobody mm -hmm. in this family mm -hmm. who can speak for me. Yeah. Is that not stigma, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, if that girl goes ahead and runs away, because mm -hmm. some of them runs away, I have seen many who oh, are yeah, running yeah, away, they yeah. run away from that place. Imagine they go out there and start living their lives. Mm -hmm. What will happen later? Mm -hmm. People of that culture start oh, yeah, stigmatizing, stigmatizing that, that person. Too. You know, mm -hmm. you are a person who is not cut. You are not a woman. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't uh, attend women meeting because oh, yeah. you are not, not a woman. woman. Imagine mm -hmm. what will happen to that woman. Yeah. They go to the cocoon mm -hmm. or they compromise. Oh, yeah. You know, either they compromise and compromising, the okay, I've made the society happy. Mm -hmm. What about me? Yeah. I'm left hurt, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. yeah, making the society happy, mm -hmm. but forgetting about the person. About and what we said, mm -hmm. there is no society or there's no culture without, without people. people. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Fine. Yeah. Do we also have then instances where mm -hmm. people stigmatize themselves? <laughs> Like I stigmatize myself, wow. and of course we'll also look, uh -huh. just look at then the different types of stigma. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like for instance, public, which I think we've, we've yeah. you know, um, yeah. gone through with the aspect of then self. Mm -hmm. um, is there such thing? Like I stigmatize myself because I want to think like a human, mm -hmm. you would want the best for yourself, mm -hmm. and you'd want to think highly of yourself. Sure, but to stigmatize yourself, mm -hmm. or, or, or is that is the case where we stigmatize ourselves without <laughs> knowing that we are stigmatizing ourselves? Most of self, okay, there is stigma from within and there yeah, is stigma yeah. from, from without. without yeah. And most of the sti stigma from without causes the stigma from within or, or, mm. or triggers the stigma from, from within. within. Yeah. Uh, do we because stigmatize ourselves uh, stigmatizing ourselves is when, uh, okay, laboring ourselves. I start laboring. Mm. I'm a fat woman. And in mm. fact, it's only animals that can get fat. People never get, you can only get big units. Yeah. Yeah. I can only get, get big. It. We don't get fat. Yeah. You see, I label myself, mm -hmm. I'm a fat girl, mm -hmm. okay? I'm stigmatizing myself, oh, yeah. you know? I'm putting uh, uh, oil on fire mm -hmm. and other people hear, you know? Oh, yeah. And I start laboring myself, mm -hmm. I start treating myself the I same, start. you know? Yeah. You know, my self-image changes, mm -hmm. you know? Oh, yeah, and you'll actually exit from I, outside, I had, you know? Because you're not yeah. confident in all those things. Sure. Okay. And that is also followed by, what, what do I tell myself all through? Mm -hmm. The inner self talk, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the negative will only bring out negative. Yeah. The positive uh, inner talk will always bring the positive. The, the, the positive. Yeah. So the negative we always tell ourselves, mm -hmm. you know, I can't, you know, mm -hmm. and for sure when you go there, you will you, not. You, uh, yeah, you know, because that is what you've chosen. You will not because yeah. that is what you have told yourself. Mm -hmm. But even if it is so hard, and I tell myself, yes, I can. You know, mm. I'll go there and I'll try my best. Mm. Or fans fight somebody. Yeah. You'll see my determination come and help. Mm -hmm. So that's how we stigmatize ourselves, reboring ourselves mm -hmm. and acting upon the rebel we have mm. put upon ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And even the perception, could we say the perception that we also have, I mean, mm -hmm. aside from what we tell mm -hmm. ourselves, because I mean, we can... Sure. And sometimes people actually say it, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and that example that you gave, mm -hmm. um, where someone would actually call themselves names, and then you look at them, you're like, no, but you're nowhere close to what yeah. you're saying. But yeah. since I believe that that is who I am, or mm -hmm. that is how I look, mm -hmm. of course, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter how many people say, no, that's not true, you're yeah. okay. Yeah. You'll still see yourself yeah. see yourself as that. There are people. In fact, I, I, I've met with many people mm. outside mm. there as mm. they are talking, and uh, even when I'm doing my sessions, mm. and they're saying, "Okay, I wish you didn't tell me that." And it's like, "I wish you didn't affirm me." Mm. I don't like people affirming me because they want to remade the label. They labeled themselves. I'm angry. Yeah. So telling them that they are beautiful. Imagine it is stigmatizing them. Wow. Yeah. They want you to go by what they are calling what themselves. They calling themselves. Yeah, because they, you, you see what we said, lack of awareness. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know. I, I also 
uh, you also need good things mm -hmm. need good things to yourself and do good things to yourself yeah. and that is another thing you need we mm -hmm. don't uh, people individuals don't like doing good things to themselves all, yeah. just imagine just because somebody called them a name or mistreated mm -hmm. them outside mm -hmm. there mm -hmm. they start mistreating themselves, themselves. and especially the loved ones mm -hmm. look at a girl yeah. who is in love with a young boy outside yeah. there you know and because uh, 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 they don't like them. They call them a name. You are so ugly. You mm. never get a man to love you. That's true. And they take and then it. That sinks you know, in and the girls it decide, is yeah, it's true. I'm ugly. Yeah. That's and sad. for sure, you'll find them coming for session. It's like, yeah, I can't find a boyfriend mm. because I'm ugly. I amount to nothing. Yeah. You know. A and if you try to get where this came from, mm. just because somebody said something, mm. you see, it was said. That's what I yeah. was saying, a stigma from uh, without yeah. that is coming That out. is coming yeah. um, you know, within. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then also an aspect of um, what perceived, I think we've, we've talked about it, mm -hmm. that aspect of then structural mm -hmm. and also stigma by association. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about those? Uh, the structural stigma is where, uh, either intentionally or unintentionally, mm -hmm. uh, outside there, mm -hmm. they do things that are stigmatizing people, mm -hmm. you know. You, you didn't know, but you did mm -hmm. something. You know, okay. rules and regulations that are put outside yeah, there, yeah. you know, that mm -hmm. stigmatizes, you know. Mm -hmm. um, like the other day, I was so happy when I was uh, seeing news mm -hmm. to see uh, an, uh, a person with the charge of albinism mm -hmm. being absorbed in the, in the force, you know. Me, I knew that uh, people with disability cannot be absorbed in yeah, such yeah. kind of, you, you, yeah. you, you, you know that, mm -hmm. you know. I don't know whether it was uh, said, but I'm happy also from, uh, from our parliaments, mm -hmm. the acts that are coming up that are now oh, acknowledging yes. those yeah. people, yeah, you know. Been for a very long time. Yeah. yeah, imagine people who walk with wheelchairs, mm -hmm. you can imagine, you know, mm -hmm. they are coming into a building, yours is not, it doesn't have stories, but imagine yeah, yeah. you have invited them here, you want to interview them, but there are no, there are no rounds. No imagine, yeah. you know, how stigmatizing it is, yeah. carrying that person up, bringing them down, yeah, and dignity. imagine they are human beings, you yeah. know, they have their within fears, yes. yeah, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, the, the, the rules and the regulations that we put, you know, like, the must and the shoulds, even in the mm -hmm. family, you know, you know this child is, uh, uh, has a challenge mm -hmm. and you want them to do things just like yeah. these other children. Go to school. Mm -hmm. There are children with, with challenges, you know, mm -hmm. maybe they can't see. Mm -hmm. Or, or, or they, they are slow, they are slow learners. Mm -hmm. But what does Morimu expect from this child, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a must tomorrow morning. You bring, yeah. you bring that home, homework mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. You see, the rules that we make we stigmatizes, make stigmatize others and, and this know. child is feeding within them. And I, I have I'm this challenge. Like, yeah. I like that because it's mm -hmm. in most of the time, mm -hmm. and, and especially that aspect of then, for instance, like a building, like mm -hmm. you said, mm -hmm. um, it does not accommodate everyone. That sure. is a form of stigma. Mm -hmm. And you know, I had that a few years ago, and I was like, wait we did not know that that is actually a form of stigma, mm -hmm. you know, unless mm -hmm. until it was pointed out. Mm -hmm. And I think there was a lot of noise around that, that mm -hmm. we had a lot of buildings again, just yeah. try to do our renovations here and there to accommodate everybody. Mm -hmm. So it's interesting how there's some things, or even laws, mm -hmm. um, you know, that end up stigmatizing other people. Mm -hmm. We think mm -hmm. it's honest, but really it's not. Yeah. Okay, we need to take a break. But of course, when we come back, we'd also look at some of the diseases yeah. um, that again, end up, you know, forcing people to stigmatize, mm. um, you know, the others based on their mm. health. Mm -hmm. And what can we do really as a society, like we said, to change cases sure. of stigma? So if you have any other questions, feel free to interact with us. We're here to answer all your questions, but also give you knowledge mm -hmm. and a better understanding as far as stigma is concerned. So let's take that short break. We'll be right back with more right here on My Doctor. Stay with us. All right, welcome back, ladies, to with us. This is my doctor, and today our focus of discussion is all about stigma. And what's interesting is that some of the things that we don't know that is stigma, and we end, end up doing them, not knowing that they're hurting the other person, or they might not show you that they are hurt by the things that we say or the actions that we do on other people, mm. but it is stigma at the end of the day. So that is the subject of discussion today right here on My Doctor. If you have any other question, we have all those ways that you can reach us. You can use our WhatsApp number. You can also use our social media platforms as well to just send in your question, and we are here to answer all of them. And this is as far as stigma um, is concerned. We've looked at the different types of stigma. And also something else, um, you know, Ruth, that we forgot to mention mm -hmm. is, you know how sometimes, mm -hmm. and for instance, I mean, and we'll talk about this, when we talk, tackle the um, 
illnesses or conditions that sometimes attract stigma. Mm. Um, it's not right, mm. but sometimes we end up stigmatizing people based yeah. on their health, yeah. but also seeking health services where mm -hmm. for a very long time we've had a lot of young people say, I cannot go to a hospital or I cannot yeah. go yet yeah, to a healthcare facility mm -hmm. and ask for, for instance, contraceptives, mm -hmm. um, you know, because the people there look at you like, hmm, we are married, Mika. So it makes it sure, difficult for them sure, to actually sure. see. Uh -huh. um, services but then again mm -hmm. the healthcare practitioners there mm -hmm. don't necessarily think that they're stigmatizing them if sure. anything they think that they're changing this person by yeah. either denying them yeah. or pointing out that yeah. um, you know mm -hmm. there's something wrong with you how do we tackle that um, just as, as we said you know all these things are coming from the society yeah. you know um, the beliefs mm -hmm. the stereotypings you know and the discrimination that comes with it just as you have said um, <coughs> the mm -hmm. thing is, I'm the one who is in need. I'm aware of my need. When we get aware mm -hmm. of our need, what am I supposed to do for this situation? Okay. I'll go to a pharmacy mm -hmm. and, and buy these uh, drugs, you oh, know, yeah. because you are the one who is in need. Because mm -hmm. most of the time what we do is care about what will other people think. say. Or what will they think. You know. Yeah. What will other people say? And I always ask people, what about you? What do you say about it? Mm -hmm. What is making you not to do what you think what is you good, think for is you? good for you? You know, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know, uh, when people find that um, you always want to do what makes them happy, yeah. they will take advantage of you. And you so say you cannot please everybody. Yeah. yeah. And this is where now things like depression comes in, mm -hmm. anxiety, you know, mm -hmm. that extreme anxiety. Mm -hmm. Because every time I, I, I see Ruth somewhere, I know the questions that she will bring up, you yes. know. I, I've worked in a, in a pharmacy when I was a young girl and uh, I, I could see men coming to buy, you know, uh, codoms, yeah. you know. And, and you know codoms, you know, it's not a must you're going out there to do it. You could be using it as a contraceptive. Yeah. But the way they will hide, you know, <laughs> You know, you'll pity them, you know. Cheers. And you see a man at the corner there, you just go, I, I know maybe, you know, I, we used now to read, we used yeah. to know, they stand at a corner somewhere, we will know this what they want, and you know, you have also to respect what they oh, want yeah. and do mm -hmm. it their yeah, way, yeah. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. don't show it. Yeah. Because when you show it, then yeah. it makes it difficult for this person to come back for, for the services. Stigmatize you know, Don't stigmatize yes. it. Okay, so for the illnesses, again, mm -hmm. um, diseases and illnesses that also somewhat attract mm -hmm. um, stigma, which should not be the case. I mean, one of mm -hmm. them, HIV and AIDS, recently yes. we also had a case of COVID-19 as yes, well, yeah. which a lot of people stigmatize others based mm -hmm. on COVID-19. Walk on a corona, stay away from uh -huh. me. And we make it as a joke, <coughs> mm -hmm. but really, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's not right, <laughs> all right? It's so I don't know. Um, just take a, look, take a look at some of the other, you know, illnesses. Yeah, uh, <coughs> sorry. There are sicknesses like schizophrenia. You know, <laughs> and the way Africans, we like calling it umerogwa. You know, you have been bewitched. Mm -hmm. You know, you are crazy. In fact, we, we call it madness. Oh, yeah, we call them mad yeah. all the time. Schizophrenia. And you know, it's a disease that can occur on anybody. And especially if they have gone uh, 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 for a long time mm -hmm. dealing with anxiety or depression for mm -hmm. a long time, and maybe it was not treated. Yeah. You know, it, 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 it may add up to be schizophrenia. Yeah. You know, this we call madness. Mm -hmm. eh? What I've called depression. Is, yes. is another thing that people, but I like the way people are coming out these days yeah, and, talking about, and depression. talking about depression. Depression is another thing because, by the way, go and tell somebody mm -hmm. that you, you, you are depressed and you think okay, you are mad or you are, you are going through issues, you know, mm -hmm. and you might get stigmatized just because same. you are going through issues. Yes, yeah. I have my issues that are taking me through depression. Mm -hmm. What do I do? I, I carry them. Yeah. It's only me who can work on them. And mm -hmm. so long as they're not worked on, they are my mm -hmm. issues. Mm -hmm. So stigmatizing me because I'm in depression, imagine that is worsening the, the situation, situation you know, and yeah. it is making people also not to go seek mm -hmm. for help. Mm -hmm. You know, I found out the other day that uh, people are also fearing to go for counseling personal therapy yes. because they don't want to be seen entering that room or entering mm -hmm. that institution yeah. you know or they don't want to be found uh, speaking to you just because people th they are crazy oh, you yeah. know or you're not uh -huh. strong enough to handle your uh -huh. problems or mm -hmm. your issues yeah uh, and who said that uh, you can handle 100 percent your issues Absolutely not. you know <laughs> we are <laughs> human yeah. and uh, because we are a social beings mm -hmm. and that's why god created us as so mm -hmm. so that you can help me 
I can help you. Yeah. That's why we are professionals. That's why you are professional in your area. Mm. Right now you're using your profession mm. to educate people, yeah. you know, to sensitize people, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. so, that, so you can't be 100%, mm. you know, to carry your own issues. And that's why that is depression. Mm. There is a schizophrenia. Yeah. Uh, there is a, the, 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 the drug abuse disorder, you know, and that's another thing that mm. people are really being stigmatized. Yeah. And uh, many people are killing themselves uh, Winnie, because of the stigma and especially uh, uh, with uh, drug and abuse disorders. Yeah. Because, uh, and especially when it comes to now uh, religion, how do we yes. look at these people? Mm. Whether they are depressed people, you, you, you are depressed people and you are amongst these uh, saints here. What do they say? You are demon possessed. Yeah. And what and they will start doing is the exhausting demons. the demons. Little do they know. All what these people you need see, is to be listened help. to. Yeah. If they need medication, they need to be taken to a doctor. Mm -hmm. And if the doctor feels that there is a, I mean, the doctor or the therapist, they feel like mm -hmm. the, this is a situation that needs a spiritual attention. Because, in, in fact, that's what it happens. Mm -hmm. If a case is brought to me, yeah. and I know it has, because even in counseling, we, we also, there, there is a, a unit we do of spirituality. Mm -hmm. If I know I can't take care of this, I will tell you now, then go. You can go and you seek know? help from yeah, yeah, to a person mm -hmm. who, whom you can, uh, whom you trust, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. But st stigmatizing people just because they, they, are, uh, uh, they have a challenge in uh, drug abuse mm -hmm. disorder, mm -hmm. you know, they are not holy people. Mm. They are not holy people. Yeah. We cannot let them come into our places of worship, of worship. just because one mm. a you, you, you get it, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. stigma. Mm -hmm. And you know, that person goes and gets lost mm -hmm. somewhere. Oh yeah, because they're not wanted anywhere. They're not wanted in their families. They're mm -hmm. not wanted in the church. They're not yeah. wanted in workplaces. Mm -hmm. So it becomes even difficult for them to, you know. And to they may end up killing the themselves. Oh, and yeah. mostly that's why, especially people who are, uh, are going through depression, mm. And it's been lack of understanding. You are not being understood. Mm -hmm. You know, this person is seeking for attention. Mm -hmm. For sure, I am seeking for attention. Mm -hmm. My inside is yelling, help me. Yeah. I need to be listened to. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, sometimes people who are going through depression don't need to be given answers. Mm -hmm. All they need, listen to them. Yeah. Let them vent. Mm -hmm. Because the reason why they are getting stressed or depressed is because they are they carrying lost. so much. Yeah. If you let, at least let them mm. talk, and not only talk, without you judging them. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing. And I yeah. mean, a lot of people will say, but I'm human. I mean, I might end up judging mm -hmm. without necessarily knowing mm -hmm. that I'm judging this person. Mm -hmm. But of course, we'll also look at how then ways that we can fight, um, mm -hmm. you know, stigma. Mm. But sometimes people say, but sometimes I don't even know what to say. I might find myself saying something, thinking yeah. that I yeah. am comforting this person or mm -hmm. trying to help this, this person but really mm -hmm. i am making the situation worse yeah. so some people will decide you know what mm -hmm. for the sake of this person's well-being and my well-being mm -hmm. as well and not to create any rift between us mm -hmm. i'd rather stay away from this person yeah. um because if i say something yeah. they might end up taking it the wrong way mm -hmm. or i could be stigmatizing them based yeah. on the things that i say yeah. um you know thinking that i am comforting them so then the aspect of yeah. them staying away the, the, okay yeah staying away is is a solution, mm -hmm. but you can still stay with them, okay. but learn to say very little. Very little, I like that. Okay. Listen, mm -hmm. listen more than you. And say little. Yeah. And then we are also educating people to, uh, and this way now we, we help people to mm -hmm. go and seek professional help. <coughs> professional help. Yeah. Because I'm not a professional counselor. Mm -hmm. I know, mm -hmm. right now I know we need from, from, from this uh, mm -hmm. uh, interview, mm -hmm. maybe because of the knowledge that you're getting from here. Yeah. Maybe th the way you used to advise people. Well, and that's why we say when we are counseling, yeah. we tell people, counseling is not advising. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. counseling is not advising. We are just working with you. You know, start telling people to seek professional, help. professional yeah. help. Because I know when they go there, mm -hmm. you know, they will not be judged. Mm -hmm. We call it unconditional uh, positive regard. Yeah. You know, you're just showing them love without mm -hmm. judging them mm -hmm. or loving them expecting back just yeah, love them yeah. be there for them okay. imagine sometimes all they need is just be there don't say anything yeah just be there for mm. me yeah. sometimes people say oh i understand what you're going through no maybe not maybe you do not understand so don't say it just <laughs> just keep quiet if you can and just can. be there and listen and by the way we could be going through the same yeah through the same 
but our understanding because different. of our different personalities, yeah. you know, mm. and, and uh, perception, as you said, you know, how am I perceiving my mm -hmm. issue could be different, different. from how you are perceiving True. it. Mm -hmm. Also, how strong am I? How, how is my inner person? How mm -hmm. am I psychologically? How is my uh, am I psychologically prepared mm -hmm. for the situation? Yeah. You could be strong. I could be at my weakest. Good. So if mm -hmm. you tell me that you understand mm -hmm. how I'm the one in the shoes, oh, not, yeah. you. not you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen a lot and yeah. say say little. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. also, um, I mean, some forms of disabilities as mm -hmm. well. People have mm -hmm. been stigmatized um, sure. you know, based on the same, either in workplaces or even mm -hmm. at home. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've had a lot of parents mm -hmm. locking their children away simply because, yeah. you know, they are living with some form of disability, yeah. which again is not good. Mm -hmm. They might think that they're helping the child, but really, mm -hmm. no, you're mm -hmm. actually stigmatizing and stigmatizing them. Mm -hmm. So can we talk about then the impact of stigma mm -hmm. on people, mm -hmm. on the environment, like you said, and just in mm -hmm. general, mm -hmm. what can stigma do to a person? Okay. When we, st you know, when we start stigmatizing people, whether knowingly or unknowingly, or unknowingly yeah. um, we are adding on top of what they are carrying, mm -hmm. on top of their burdens, mm -hmm. you know. And this changes their feelings. Mm -hmm. This changes their thinking mm -hmm. pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their cognition changes, changes you know, yeah. how they perceive things changes mm. these people might become violent mm. you know yeah I, I know you have heard of people who are like uh, we don't know why they did it mm. we don't know why they, they acted did out it. of impulse and then yeah. someone is like no but we didn't see it coming maybe somebody triggered it yeah. on the other side and because they had carried so much mm -hmm. and there I, I i i am ruth eh? mm. instead of giving them an ear yeah. i start judging them what do you think that person do when the balloon is full now? Yeah, it will just it. burst. And yeah. because the body won't burst, you know, mm -hmm. they will either act or say something, yeah. you know. Yeah. And um, the impact this has is uh, uh, broken relationships. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah. Broken relationships, mm -hmm. either in the family, in the society, mm -hmm. broken relationship. You, you can you, you can see what happens in politics, you know, mm -hmm. broken relationship. Yesterday yeah. we are darlings, today we, we, we are not enemies, together. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. we become enemies just mm -hmm. because somebody said something or they acted differently mm -hmm. and this stigmatized them. I, imagine uh, how we are using a lot of energy. The energy we are supposed to be using positively, mm -hmm. we are using it now negatively. negatively. Imagine when somebody, because of stigma, somebody gets sick. You know, because their feelings have been hurt so much. Mm -hmm. They are going through anxiety. Other people have gone, are now going through depression because they have been stigmatized. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of manpower on them. Mm -hmm. This person needs to be babysitted, like being babysitted, you know. They yeah. need to, to take their medication at the right time. You need to make sure that they have eaten. Mm -hmm. And especially if they have gone to the, to the place of being, uh, to have schizophrenia, mm -hmm. you know, somebody needs to be there. Sometimes they are mm -hmm. violent. Yeah. So somebody needs to be there for them. Mm -hmm. man, a lot of manpower is needed. Mm -hmm. You know, just seated, not doing anything. Yeah. You know, resources goes goes down go, yeah. goes down mm -hmm. so it also uh affect the socio-economical mm -hmm. factor mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. because if i have been working mm -hmm. and now i'm no longer working because i have to sit with this person who is sick at home mm -hmm. or take care of them i'm no longer working oh, yeah. so i'll not be There's providing no income, and yeah. if i was the breadwinner you know who is the breadwinner yeah. again mm -hmm. and you know sometimes crime comes up oh yes you, you and we've had a lot of people say that. Look, yeah. Oh, I have to do all it takes to feed my family. Yes. You know? Yes. You know? Wow. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I've been stigmatized, I'm now sick. Mm -hmm. And some bosses stigmatize their workers. Yes. They can really stigmatize, down mm -hmm. them, you know, talking negative to them. Mm -hmm. And imagine, the more you talk negative to mm -hmm. your workers, mm -hmm. the more unproductive oh, they, yeah, become. they become. Yep. So what you want to, to see from them, you will never, yeah. never see it. Because mm -hmm. you are putting them down. And when they are going down, they go down with some energy. Yeah, energy the creativity. energy that should have been used positively, mm -hmm. they go down because they also need energy to take care of themselves in the cocoon of mm -hmm. uh, 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 self-sympathy. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so we have talked about, uh, uh, um, and you see, with this, it also affects the medications. Mm -hmm. The medication, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, this person need to be taken care of. Oh, uh, yeah. They, they need medication. medication. All the time, yeah. And medication for mentally sick people is not that it's cheap. Expensive. Very, it's very, expensive, very exp right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, expensive. Yeah, expensive. And uh, 
So many people are not affording these mm -hmm. medications. Mm -hmm. And if they start taking, stopping, taking, stopping, I think this you can get from a psychiatrist mm -hmm. who has been treated. If they start taking, stopping, taking, stop, mm -hmm. uh, stopping, mm -hmm. they may get either hooked into it, they become what? Addicted to the yeah. drug. Or, and when they get addicted to the drug, the moment they don't have it, their situation raises again. And oh, yeah. this also causes uh, suicidal cases. Yeah. You know, yeah. death rate also Goes increases. Yeah. You know, and it's all this is, is affecting yeah. the economy of a society. True. It's affecting the economy of a society. Yeah. So if, if, if it, it is possible. Lot yeah. of impact. Like when you look at it mm -hmm. that way, the impact yeah. is much, much bigger, bigger. Um, you know, than just yeah. stigmatizing this person and thinking, sure. like you said, sure. that we have power over them, mm -hmm. and we're better than them, uh -huh. you know, to mm -hmm. just satisfy our ego. Mm -hmm. But really, we're causing a lot more harm, not only on the individual, but on their families as mm -hmm. well, the community and the country at large. Mm -hmm. So the big question is then, how do we help a person who has been stigmatized? And how do we even know that I have been stigmatized? Mm -hmm. um, you know, because like we said, there's some instances where yeah. there is stigma, mm -hmm. but we don't know that this is stigma. Um, you know, yeah, sure. so a person who has been stigmatized, mm -hmm. first of all, what do they look like? Like, do I know, for instance, if I'm stigmatized? Yeah. There are some changes that will start happening. Mm -hmm. And some you'll, you'll start feeling them. Mm -hmm. Some other you'll hear them yeah. from people. Mm -hmm. Hey, these days you have become so quiet. Mm -hmm. You are not a quiet person. But these days you are so quiet. Too quiet. Somebody will just stay and go. You know, oh, yeah. and you hear that three times, that tells you that's a red flag. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, because with stigma, depression is oh, there yeah, in, yeah. or anxiety. Mm. And you know, when anxiety comes up, uh, the, the, what do we call it? The, the immune system oh, yeah, goes down. Goes down. Yeah, so and when the immunity getting... system goes down, uh, this we call psychosomatic sicknesses. Mm -hmm. Psychosomatic sicknesses. I'm having a headache. My shoulders are aching. My legs, you know, a sickness that t t in the morning it was the head. Mm -hmm. In the evening it's my legs, yeah. you know. And you're going to hospital every now and then, you know. Yeah. If, if, if you know you are going through a situation and you find yourself like mm -hmm. you're getting sick so Often. So often, yeah. you know, that's also a red flag. Mm -hmm. You need to seek for yeah. medical. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The other thing is um, uh, the f how you feel. If you start mm -hmm. feeling depressive, you know, low mm -hmm. moods. You know, you most of the times you are. Time, right? yeah, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah mm -hmm. all the time. Or most of the time you mm -hmm. are in low moods mm -hmm. and uh, you feel like you want to withdraw. I want to be mm -hmm. by myself. I don't want to talk to people. Mm -hmm. You know lack of appetite, you know, or again, you're eating too, too much, much, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Insomnia, you, you, your sleep is getting mm -hmm. little, you know, mm -hmm. or you're not sleeping at all, mm -hmm. okay? That's a red flag. You need mm -hmm. to seek for help. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so how do we then help a person who has been stigmatized? Because like you mm -hmm. said, I mean, it's a whole lot. Mm -hmm. You know, starts a lot, from, a lot. you know, the, the mental, mm -hmm. um, you know, their mental, First of all, mental health is, mm. again, compromised. Mm. The physical health, again, is compromised. Mm. The social life, compromised. Mm. Um, you know, they cannot, they're not able to go out, meet people, yeah. work, be productive, and all those things. Yeah. So the whole aspect of this person's life mm. is affected. Yeah, sure. Where do we begin to help people who have been stigmatized? Because a lot of people have been stigmatized. Yeah, um, others have learned to live with it, mm -hmm. you know, accept mm -hmm. the fact that people yeah. will always talk, yeah. people yeah. will always be mean, mm -hmm. people will always do things, mm -hmm. um, you know, judging from their actions and you can clearly tell this person is stigmatizing mm -hmm. me. So some have dis made that decision to mm -hmm. just learn to live with it, yeah. you know, I mean, ignore when you can, yeah. um, you know, and all those things. But someone who has been greatly affected where the mental health is affected, physical health is affected, yeah. Yeah. how do we help this person? Okay. Uh, first of all, you know, there was a time we were talking about the policies and uh, that are mm. made in parliaments, uh, rule yeah. makers and mm -hmm. all that. And, uh, and I was thinking, in fact, when I was going through this, I was, I was thinking, what if the institutions, mm. they, um, they come up yeah. and the government support them, mm -hmm. you know, if there be that enough support where people can be given, you know, basic knowledge. Mm you know, what is stigma, yeah. or, or the, the mental uh, sicknesses, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Because with little uh, basic education, oh, yeah. you know, 
in the communities, you know, kwa chifu, people are yeah, being, you know, in yeah. schools, yeah. And I love schools, they, mm -hmm. they are really uh, uh, accepting, uh, they have started peer, peer counseling. Mm -hmm. There can also be peer listening to each other in working places, mm -hmm. you know. And these acts of parliament, they should be uh, hastened, mm -hmm. you know, so mm -hmm. that there can be enough resources so that yeah. there will be policies that can support if it is institution with a counseling institution mm -hmm. uh, psychiatric institutions you know uh, to educate people with support from the government mm -hmm. you know why am i talking of knowledge mm -hmm. because without knowledge you know how yeah. will you know to how to treat this yeah. person yeah. and now i come to your question mm -hmm. how do we how do we uh, start now treating this person mm -hmm. uh, with knowledge and i'm happy because now we are imparting knowledge mm -hmm. to people yeah. If you'd find that somebody is changing, or they have come and they have talked to you and they are telling me, I'm going through this. You know, either my boss, you know, is putting mm -hmm. me down or somebody did something there. Mm -hmm. They are differently abled and maybe they have been stigmatized outside yeah. there. You know, uh, one thing to do is sit with them. Just be, be there for, for, mm -hmm. for, for emotional support. Mm -hmm. Be there with them. You may not say anything, mm -hmm. but just be there for yeah. them. And um, if there is anything you can say, to these people. Mm -hmm. Can we look to the positive? Can we look to the strengths? Mm -hmm. What have you been able to do? Yeah. Out of all this experience, mm -hmm. is there anything positive have you learned? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe you have learned to be more independent, it's just true. as you said. I've learned to be more independent. I've learned to trust people. They can break your heart anytime, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, picking such, you know, mm -hmm. and running with them, mm -hmm. you know. A and also affirming yourself, yeah. you know, self-affirmation. This far I have come. Mm -hmm. Okay, they have been putting me down. Mm -hmm. They have been talking. They have been saying, mm -hmm. but this is why I've come. This tells me mm -hmm. I am strong. Self-affirmation. Mm -hmm. Affirmation from other people, the oh, family yes. members, it, friends, mm, yeah. you know, affirm, yeah, mm -hmm. affirm this person mm -hmm. of the good things mm -hmm. that are there. Mm -hmm. The other thing is listening. Listening mm -hmm. is a medicine. People doesn't know. Yeah. And the, the problem with us Africans is uh, where we like, as I'm talking, you want to finish the sentence for me. True. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so true. and uh, listening without talking. Don't finish sentences for, for them. People. Just listen. Yeah. Whether they are, whether what they are, they, they are saying is seems stupid to you, or meaningless, mm -hmm. just listen because that's what is putting them down. Yeah. Seeking counseling. Oh, yes. And when these people come for counseling, there is a lot that is being done. Mm -hmm. You know, restructuring. You, you are restructuring a lot, restructuring mm -hmm. the, the thought pattern. Mm -hmm. You are restructuring the perception. Mm -hmm. You are structuring the, 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 the inner talk. Yeah. If it was negative, they start talking positive, positive of themselves. Yeah. The, there are, uh, sometimes uh, we do not only cancel the person who is, uh, who is uh, going through uh, the situation. Yeah. We also cancel the whole <laughs> the family, family because yeah. they are the support system. Mm -hmm. you know? And that's the first thing I want to know. Do you have a support system mm -hmm. when you come for counseling? Mm -hmm. Yes, you know. Is your support system helping you? Yeah. And if they're not helping you, you can change. Can you do? do you have yeah. another person that mm -hmm. you can trust? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, if this pe person is trusting you mm -hmm. as a person, now this is now the society. Mm -hmm. If this person has entrusted to us, mm -hmm. uh, look at the people mm -hmm. the, like the, the, the drug, uh, um, the, the abuse, mm -hmm. uh, drug abuse disordered people, yeah. you know. Mostly they go out there and they tell their story. Oh, yes. Imagine then we take that story, mm. come with it and start putting them down no. with the same story. Yeah. That will be so it bad. It will be so bad. Okay. okay. All yeah. right. Mm. Okay. So try to understand this person. Um, look at them from a point of empathy mm -hmm. um, and just listen, like you said. Yeah. Listen to them. And when yeah. you see someone stigmatizing the other, please just mm -hmm. tell them to stop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, look out yeah. for each other so yeah. that we can fight mm. um, cases of stigma. And Ruth, our time is up. Wow. I know. Okay. We okay. have to say goodbye. <laughs> okay. But thank you very much, really, for coming by. I appreciate your thank time you really. and the knowledge, of course, that we have impacted. Mm. I mean, on us today, as far as just fighting stigma, yeah. really in general. This was such a Sana. Please yeah. come back again. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, thank you very much for staying yeah. with us as well. Until the end of the show, that is where we say goodbye. And of course, our guest for the day, Ruth Murago, who is a counseling psychologist, just helping us understand ways that we can fight stigma. Mm. And that is where we say goodbye. My name is Zuni Lubembe. God bless. We'll see you on the next episode of My Doctor. But until then, as always, remember to stay safe. Goodbye for now.